Hello and welcome to another TempRecord online video tutorial. In this tutorial we will look at what happens when TempRecord for Windows cannot find the USB reader or open a COM port. My name is Luca Bartolitz and I am the Research and Development Engineer at TempRecord International Limited. Right, let's get started. Here we are in Windows 7 and I've already connected up my USB reader and I have a logger correctly inserted into the reader. I am going to fire up TempRecord for Windows and I'm just going to do a query logger. And we get this message, unable to open COM5. This is the message that you will normally get if you if TempRecord for Windows can't open the reader or detect the reader or something like that. Right, so let's have a look at what's happening. If we go into Options, COM port, we can see that TempRecord has already detected that there's a reader on COM5. So, what's going on? Well, if we go and close TempRecord, and if we go into Start, Computer, System Properties, Device Manager. If we expand Ports and find USB Serial Port COM5. Now, I know for a fact that this is the TempRecord USB Reader in this instance, but you may have more COM ports. So, the TempRecord USB Reader could be any one of those ports. The way to tell is to double click or right click and go properties and actually look at location and here we can see that COM5 TempRecord USB Reader but wait a second this wasn't working in TempRecord just before so what's going on? well the best thing you can do is disconnect your USB reader and we will see this disappear now and then reconnect it so I'm going to do that now Okay, and when I have reconnected it, it's appeared again under COM5. Now, if we go back to TempRecord, we can see that it's working. So, if you go into Options and COM port, and it's not set to look for a USB reader, you may have the error appear. For instance, I'm going to set the COM port to COM4, push OK, and we get this message, unable to com open COM4. But if I go to COM port and select COM5 manually, I can find the logger again. So what you have to remember is to go to Computer, System Properties, Device Manager, and look for any COM ports going to properties of that COM port will tell you if it's a TempRecord USB reader. This is the note, the part you have to note, what COM port it's on. Now TempRecord for Windows is pretty good and it will detect this automatically, but if you have to do it manually, this is what you have to look for. Another thing to note is sometimes you may have multiple COM ports and if two ports have the same COM number, things will go wrong. Now, Windows generally doesn't allow two devices to have the same COM number, but if you do have this problem, all you have to do is go into Properties and go into Port Settings, Advanced, and change the COM port to whatever you want. You will notice that Windows is detecting COM3 as in use, so do not select COM3 as your new port. But for instance, I can now pick COM10, push OK, OK, and there we go. We can now go into TempRecord, COM port, and we can see that it's detected that the reader is on COM10. You will have to reconnect the USB reader once you have changed COM ports. This is a Windows bug, not a TempRecord bug. So again, if I disconnect and reconnect the USB reader, we will see now that it's working again. So, 
the key thing to remember is to check device manager for the correct COM port number and if it still isn't working try unplugging the reader and replugging it back into your computer. If all these solutions still don't work you may consider restarting your computer that's always a good place to start or you could reinstall Tempercode for Windows that will also help with any problems. That concludes debugging the COM port and the USB reader session of this tutorial. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us by visiting our website at www.tempercode.com or emailing us at info at Thank you for watching.